back to the channel. I'm Diamond. If you are new, I am a mom of three toddlers, four, three, and one. So I'm a busy mama. Um, I'm also a surrogate mom. If that's something you guys can relate to, don't forget to like and subscribe. And so I didn't post on Friday because it's kind of been, I've been lazy, honestly. I am going to give you guys an update really quick on the surrogacy. An update on the surrogacy is that I am having a miscarriage. Um, I started having a miscarriage about three days ago on Wednesday. Wednesday I started having a miscarriage so like pretty much been like kind of lazy and haven't been really wanting to do much. Um, it wasn't the outcome that we wanted. Um, for pain wise I'm not going through any pain. I did have cramping on like day two but it just felt like a period cramp. It was nothing too crazy. Um, I'm not bleeding a lot, which is something they said I should look out for if I'm bleeding too much and I need to rush to the ER. So not bleeding anything too crazy. I am going to check myself into the ER tomorrow though because because it's like I'm a surrogate mom. They wanted me to and we have to do a second attempt because that's in my contract. They kind of want to get the ball rolling. They want me to like be healthy and stuff but they want me to get the ball rolling you know? so they wanted me to go to weekly appointments to make sure that my hormone levels and everything are going back down like they should be and just to keep checking up on me like weekly but when i called to make an appointment my doctor's office said they wouldn't see me unless i went into the er so tomorrow i'm gonna go into the er just check myself in because I do need to go to those um, checkup appointments. So I'm just going to take that step and they'll most likely do a DNC, but I'm not sure because I thought a DNC was for like if your body couldn't naturally like get rid of the pregnancy, but I don't know. This is all new to me. But pretty much a DNC is like they go inside you. It's a procedure. They go inside you and they take everything and clean everything out of you. I might still have to do it anyways. I won't know until tomorrow. So that will be in the next vlog. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to the ER. I might have to do the DNC. And after I do that, then I don't know if I will bleed after that. I honestly don't know. So I guess I will talk about that next vlog because... I don't know what's going to happen from here. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that update. I am having a miscarriage and I'm okay. The intended parents are okay. We no both know that everything happens for a reason. It just wasn't our timing and hopefully everything goes how we want it to go the second round. So today I'm just going to be doing a little bit of cleaning. I do need to clean the kitchen. I just showed you guys the mess. It is 10.50 right now, so I do want to be done cleaning by at least 12 because um, that's around their lunchtime. So by the time I'm done cleaning, I want to feed them lunch. It is pretty nice outside today, so after lunch, I do want to take them to the park. So that is what I have planned today. Um, so yeah, let me get started so I can finish quickly. Let me show you guys the living room play area really quick. You made your baby a necklace? Yeah, my kids are fine. Yeah, so the house is a mess, so I'm gonna get started and I'll talk to you guys when I am done.
just like you But then you walk on by And I knew what I had to do The way you're moving The way you're shining Everybody's watching you I wanna make you mine I Alright guys, it's a little later, um, I cleaned the kitchen, I cleaned the kids play area, I still have to sweep and stuff in there, but I'm gonna do that a little later on. Came downstairs, well I fed them lunch, we went outside for a little bit, then it started to rain, I'm so upset because I went to grill today because it was so nice this morning, but I didn't have anything to grill, so I put in a pickup order, well I put in a delivery order, but... By the time we got here, it started raining, so I'm hoping it stops raining sooner than later so I can actually grill still. If not, hopefully tomorrow. I'm just going to chill for a little bit. I am going to clean downstairs. I got to mop around like our eating area because I haven't mopped it, honestly. Um, I've just been too lazy. And the mop is always upstairs and I don't feel like bringing it downstairs, but today I'm in my cleaning zone. So I'm going to mop it up. I want to show you guys the thing I seen on TikTok how like to get their kids to eat veggies. They started to do like a big tray that they just left out with veggies, fruits, and the snacks that their kids like. So eventually their kids would eat the veggies. And I was like, I'm going to try that. But my youngest and my daughter, Milani, she, both of them love veggies. I have no problems with that. My oldest... He actually eats veggies, but he's not as, like, into as my two youngest. So, I'm really just doing it mostly for him. He's at that age now where he just wants to snack all day. It's like a teenage boy right now. He wants to snack literally all day now. All day. Right after he's done eating, he's grabbing snacks. In the middle of the night, we catch him sneaking snacks, so... That's mostly why I'm doing it for him. So like if he wants a snack, that's fine. But at least he's eating something healthy. Talking about healthy, I am doing the big switch. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time. Um, food dyes. So I've actually been like looking into this for a while. So I've heard and like watched videos and read that like food dyes are like really bad especially for kids but like in general they're really bad for you so i've been wanting to switch and if you guys don't know if you guys are new i used to live in germany before i started my youtube i lived in germany for like three years and 
it was just different definitely healthier food out there and if you guys don't know a lot of the stuff that they make like that they put into our snacks and chips and stuff like that are actually illegal in other countries like I'm pretty sure almost every single country they're illegal in except for ours so that that's kind of like a red flag like why is it illegal in other countries to put into your food but like in ours it's not you know I'm actually not a snacker at all my husband's a big snacker so we always have snacks just because of him since he's back with us I was like, okay I want to be able to get those same snacks but the healthier versions they're so expensive which sucks but I'd rather them be eating healthier than putting stuff in their body that isn't good for them maybe one video I'll do like a video of the foods that I used to give them and what I give them now so yeah I just been putting out a tray I'm gonna show you guys the tray today but the first day I just did a big tray of veggies with ranch they're obsessed with ranch they could literally eat it with everything the first day it came with like little Slim Jims and cheese because they're obsessed with that. Today I put pretzels and cheese mixed in with their veggies. Um, I'm just trying to find easier, healthier stuff for them to snack on. And then I have apples and cuties that usually when they're hungry and want to snack. And if I'm cooking I'll tell them okay go get an apple and eat on that. And he, he's been doing good with that. I'm going to show you guys my tray today. So this chair for them. As you can see my kids were already at it as soon as I put it down I had it down for like five seconds and they were already grabbing food so I would actually recommend that doing the tray um, it was actually a good idea I'm glad I seen it on TikTok. Um, I am gonna start doing laundry I usually save laundry for Wednesdays and Sundays but if you guys remember I told you I'm going to check myself into the ER tomorrow don't know how long I'm gonna be there so I'd rather do everything today that way Sunday I have nothing to worry about so I'm gonna get started <music> Actually, the next morning I did get a lot of stuff done yesterday um, took a lot of weight off my shoulders literally I hate looking at mess so it's actually super nice outside today so I might be able to grill today hopefully because I really want some barbecued food before I close out this video I wanted to go in a bit deeper into the surrogacy because I know I kind of like didn't explain it that much but if you guys been keeping up with my videos, um, two weeks ago I was like five weeks in one day and then, or was it three weeks ago? I don't even know anymore, but the appointment after that, which was a week later, was five weeks and three days, so five weeks, four days, I think, sorry, five weeks, four days, I don't know, five weeks, four days, or five weeks, three days, I don't remember, but, which... 
was not good because in a week difference I only grew by a couple of days um that means I was developing slowly or the baby was developing slowly so they say either two things happen the baby was just literally taking longer to develop than usual which is normal um not in everybody's cases but it can happen or the baby just was never going to develop so that's the news I had got in the last vlog and I shared that with you guys. So this last appointment was to determine which one it was. So we found out that the baby wasn't going to develop. So I'm having a miscarriage right now. And today I'm actually going to the ER to get it all cleaned out and stuff. So, so the term for like what I'm going through right now I'm gonna leave right here it's pretty much a pregnancy without the fetus so now what I'm waiting for is for the miscarriage to finish and like for my body to stop reading that I'm pregnant so as of the last appointment even though the fetus had didn't develop still my body still reading that I was pregnant and all my hormone levels and everything were still high I think I was reading at five weeks and six days for my pregnancy so I grew a little bit but at that point we knew um, the baby just wasn't gonna develop because the baby should have been developing already the intended parents they're not too upset about it they just want to make sure I'm okay because they've been through miscarriages they know how it feels you know um so they just want to make sure i'm okay they're so nice um the day we find out she called me and she the whole time she was just concerned about me so she's just so selfless and so nice they're such a beautiful family and we're just keeping our heads up everything happens for a reason we're also happy that we found out sooner than later that's why we get monitored so early like two weeks afterwards we're already getting monitored you know like with a normal pregnancy you usually don't get like your first ultrasound until like I don't know like between like seven to nine weeks I believe it is so we get monitored a lot earlier so we can catch stuff like that so we're glad that we found out sooner than later because it would have sucked if we would have just kept waiting and really just didn't have any idea we just because, like, if we were just going off my blood work, we would have never known that, like, the fetus didn't develop. You know, so I'm glad we did that. They're glad we did that. And moving forward, after this miscarriage is done, it can take up to a few days, up to a few weeks. Um, it's different for everybody. After that's done, about a month after that, I should get my period and after I get my period I start the medication all over again and then I go back out there and do the procedure the second time hopefully the second time works out for them because they've tried so many times and they they deserve it to have that chance to be parents you know or hopefully that explains some stuff for you guys if you guys have any questions you can always um, comment down below ask me them um, DM me on Instagram or whatever social media you have me on you can message me on and I can answer them next vlog for emotionally with this miscarriage um, I feel like I go through phases like I just want to lay in bed the whole day like, even though the baby's not mine it did take a little toll on me that I miscarried like I felt like I failed um, that like something with me made the pregnancy not work but I know that at the end of the day the sur whole surrogacy process is all science like I did everything I was supposed to do so I can't be beating myself up too much like like I said at the end of the day is science everything happens for a reason and we're just gonna keep pushing forward and have a successful take two I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new don't forget to like and subscribe for your back welcome back as always thank you guys for the support and I will see you guys next vlog bye Thank <laughs> you.